Engin will organize a match between Alexis Samarenko and Travis. It will be the best pay-per-view match in history. What happened 15 years ago was historical. Ah, a little embarrassing. A little embarrassing for the beach there. Not, I hate it when my kids and they're always showing their buddies that photo, that video. It's terrible. Don't ever act like that. That was me lashing out at Igor Mezarenko for not giving me all my damn money that was associated with the contract. Simarenko had nothing to do with that. Great guy. And uh, the referee there was a very bad ref. Listen, let's go back in history, okay? Like, this is like um, the wrongs that have happened in the world, right? Like, let's just talk about the uh, what happened in Germany with Hitler, slavery, um, women not being able to vote, right? These are all horrible things that have happened in our country history. Let's add fouling anyone out in the history of super matches because they either wouldn't get a grip or, um, or, or they wouldn't, they gave them fouls because the person wanted a set grip, right? So if you go back in my career, the only time I ever lost, there was a referee there that wanted to protect the biggest cheaters in the world, <laughs> right? Like, and accused me of being a bigger cheater, I guess. Because listen, two people cannot get a grip anymore. It just doesn't happen. Right. And the reason it doesn't happen is because one of you is entirely too scared to let the person be in an absolute comfortable, favorable position. Right. So if you go back and watch Arm Wars, any of the PAL matches, what you're going to find is that back in those days, it was for some reason the referees were entitled to like. Now, when you watch me and Devin, if we're going to have a match tomorrow, would you, if you were going to have a match with Devin now, knowing what you know now or arm wrestling world, what if you couldn't have a set grip? That <laughs> you and him, no matter how long it took, were forced to get your own grip. Okay. Is that going to be a, a, a smart thing for a Devin opponent? To agree to oh no it would be it's rather difficult would you say to get a grip against Devin that's not a set grip yes yes so looking back at his matches in the past can we erase any of his wins that were giving to him because his opponent wouldn't get a grip and wanted a set grip <laughs> looking back you would have empathy for that for that person right because knowing what we know now we knew that no joe the donut it would you'd have to be the dumbest person in the world to agree to that. to well not to agree to it for it to be enforced like hey um you know tim bresden get up there and put that little small hand right in there and let Devin run forward wrist curl get the best grip he wants and turn halfway back out and if you and all we're gonna do is tap his wrist, right? And then you've got in your whole time, just like Gennady was getting set up, your hand is steadily just falling out of the <laughs> and you're like, what is going on here? Like I have nothing, right? Like, so when I lost to Devin in um in Vegas, okay. when, when I lost to Devin in in um Manchester, these are the two matches that he will show the world, right? Mm -hmm. But if you go and really now realize that there were 200 fouls given out because Devin convinced the ref, you got to keep his elbow in a pad. He can't lift to get a grip. And then Devin's like three inches higher than you, right? It's like, come on, bro. Are you crazy? Like there's so... I don't even know why do we start rambling about grips and stuff. 
you know. <laughs> I don't know how we got on this thing, but uh, I don't know what the we, question. We, we were answering the question about uh, Simarenko, right? Right. Yes, Simarenko. Oh, and so that is, referee, that right. referee with Simarenko, left-handed, like there are literally he's trying to set the grip, right? And if you watch the film, he's got the two hands right in front of him, right? And then he's like, just looking right at me. Right. And I don't care. Right. Because I'm so much stronger than Simarenko. I'm just sitting here like a statue and he's closing the thumbs. And I mean, it's taking an hour. And a lot of times we're both right here, closed, knuckles showing. And he just waits and waits and waits forever. And then somehow falls a foul. Right. And it's like, yo, know, bro. Say go. Make it happen. Say go. But it's like the referee is so into this thing. He tries to make it. You know, it's like it's like all the it's like the refereeing group before we come out says, we gotta watch Travis, right? Gotta watch him. He's doing some wizard shit up there. And I am, right? I am so good and I'm so okay with the set grip. And my fingers are loose and they're soft, right? I'm not all tense on it. I'm crazy up there. I'm smooth, right? Because I've already got the spot. And the referees are uh, are tripping. And that referee was tripping with Semarenko. That's a big cause of that. Go back and watch that. That match could have got started a lot easier.